Hello, people, and welcome to some more Empires of the Undergrowth uh, free play. So today I decided we are going to be playing as Wood Ants against a bunch of Leaf Cutters. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get too, too crazy today, too wild and crazy, just because uh, I want the AI to actually survive and for me not to have to rely on that, you know, the AI to die to the environment. So... Cheater or, cr or crooked? I in the environment to insane. <sighs> Just trying to think what would be a good challenge, but not have them die as easy. I'll go with cheater. I'll go with cheater. Uh, let's have one of them be stuns. The other two can be taunts. Oh, I should probably pick my ant. Um, mortar. We're going to go mortar. I don't normally go mortar, and it'll be better against the Entus. So, since that's what we're going to want to kill, mortar's the way to go. It's the Cephas. In this small corner of the world, the creatures continue their day to day. And I did not crank up the difficulty the in the underground because I wanted to actually get out from underground for once. Imagine that. That'll be one of my chambers. Uh, wow. It's so open. It's I don't even know how to handle it. There's like no danger underground. I can I can dig where I want to without worrying about opening like 20, you know, wolf spiders or something like that. I know wolf spiders don't spawn underground aside from the spiderlings, but you get the point. It's warm in my room. Jeez. I swear this room cannot get the temperature right. It's either blazing hot to the point where I want to take off my clothes. I want to take my clothes off. You know this song. Um, or it's freezing cold where I don't want to get out of bed. So that's unfortunate. It's always having to deal with you're hot and you're cold. Wow, I guess it's a musical kind of day. War was the best choice. I mean, again, we're going against ants. There's no other choice to make. It's like, yeah, the splash. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I mean, I I prefer rapid fire, but I understand that mortar better against ants. Yeah, again, typically like on uh, not on not so much on Queen of the Hill, but more on uh, Rising Tide. You're not dealing with a bunch of small targets. You're dealing with a few big ones. Um. Hmm. I guess. Just dig. Ooh. Yeah. There. Dig there. I think there's only... Oh, no, actually, don't dig up there. I think that might be an adult tiger. Or, not an adult tiger beetle. Uh, An adult uh, devil's coach horse. That's what I think it is. Let's just hold our horses for now. Hold our devil coach horses. Why is he even called that? Like, why of all things a devil's coach horse? Couldn't they have made it anything easier to say? Oh yeah. Scientists, they just don't know what they're doing. <sighs> just got done with uh dinner. It was it was really nice, but I couldn't unfortunately enjoy it as much as I wanted to. Teeth are killing me. Like my back teeth. Something about my wisdom teeth coming in. Um, I've already got an appointment to get them removed in March. Oh, might not be able to stream so much then. Yeah, probably for like a week after my wisdom teeth come out, I won't be talking too much. But uh, yeah, it's kind of needed because the back of my jaw is just in pain right now. And I even took some uh, painkillers. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to enjoy the pork as much as I wanted to. Bad, because it was good. It was real good. <sighs> then I'm going to do some homework after my stream. I already took a sales management test uh, right before dinner. And I got 55. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. I knew my sales sucked. I knew I was not a good salesperson. And now I have proof. Seven there. Everyone get over and defend for the splash. 
And we have Splashdown! You're dead. Get out of here. Another mortar. We can use the work or the nursery workers to guard for a little bit anyway. Um hmm, where do we go next? I think that's an adult. I think that's a bunch of uh, babies. Bebez. But I think that's a bunch of wool spider wings. I'm hoping it's a bunch of wool spider wings. Let's dig in and find out, eh? Please don't murder me. Spiderlings, I knew it. The ants must fight. Unfortunately, mortars are not the best choice for a bunch of fast moving spiderlings. But we will make do with what we got. Kind of have to. I don't really want to restart. There we go. It's all good, it's all good. What did I just hit? Oh, tab. Tab censors me on the queen. Gotcha. I know it toggles between levels, but I didn't know it centered you on the queen when you were underground and hadn't dug up above ground. Um, hmm. Actually, that's a lot of food there. Kind of thinking I want some dedicated work. This colony must remain small for now. Food is to, uh, too scarce to blocking duties them. slash gathering slash uh, more sh meat shields. I mean, more spider wings. Oh, even more. I don't know if we have the force to deal with that, but we might have the force to deal with that. We'll see. Hard to say. Only one way to find out, though, I guess. Just kind of, like, open it up and, and... How bad we suck. Let's get another splash. Another mortar. Artillery! Eh, actually, kind of is like World War One. I. I mean, we are digging trenches of a sort. Tunnels, trenches, same difference. You're digging up dirt. That's all that really matters. All right. Ready for you. Knew it! I knew it. I'm a newt. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, we can handle that. Need the ice water just to cool me off. Like, I'm not wearing anything extra warm. I'm wearing, like, you know, a pair of jeans and a t shirt, golf shirt. Short sleeve golf shirt. It's like. It shouldn't be overheating me this much. And I know the lights are, you know, pretty warm, but it was warm even before I turned them on. Dig into... Mm, I think we're going to disturb that area. Let's get some more workers, just to block. Uh, another one, yeah. And another one. Another one. Should probably put the workers back into their working group. Actually, hatch the rest of my ants. Because that's uh, six. Uh, 16. 22 food of unhatched ants that we have not used. Go, getting somewhere on that. Wee! Waiting for eggs to hatch. Quality gameplay! Woo! Let's go! Now let's see what hell I brought upon myself. All ants! Oh! This, I was going to be worse than a bunch of small hermit crabs, but okay. I can live with that. I thought it was just going to be two devil's coach horse. Perfectly fine by me. Two, hermit cra two small hermit crabs are not nearly as dangerous as two adult BCH. As proof, there goes one. I find it funny. They're not as dangerous, but they give a little bit more food. Hmm. Gotta love it, eh? Second one's going down. Eh, fairly easy. I think that's a spiderling in there. I will dig that out. Oh no, larva. 
Take that one too, because why not? It's literally free food. Because larva kind of suck. Oh, no, that's a spiraling. Even worse, it's dead. Alright, we got probably spiderlings, an adult, three adults, um, three large hermit crabs, three large hermit crabs, two adults, four adults, and uh, an absolute ton of larvae, or spiderlings, either or. Right, let's fill out my worker tiles, I guess. On as well. Eat the food to go somewhere. But I think I'm going to plan out, yeah, some uh, food storage. E. Ah, what's happening? Uh, we're playing as a wood ant queen, and we are going to try and take out three leaf cutters. Should be an interesting time. Food used up. So yeah, that's what's going on. And if I die, well, uh. I blame, I blame, yes, <laughs> I blame yes, uh, I blame my school, I blame my school for not teaching me to be smarter, there we go, if more ever comes out, yeah, listen, alright, I'm a closet, I'm a closet mortar, <laughs> takes me a while to come out, but once I come out, you know, it'll be fine. Got to build up, otherwise they'll just absolutely steamroll me. It'd probably help if I put the workers into the nursery group like I'm supposed to. Oh, multiplayer comes out. Oh, oh, that is going to be my most requested feature once 1.0 hits. Multiplayer. Second would be mod support. After that, I don't care if the devs touch the game ever again. I want the devs to touch it again, but if nothing else, just those two things. Do the fire ants, give us the Matabele ants, and then give me multiplayer and mod support. But here's one question I had about multiplayer. You know how we could stay underground, we can never dig this out, and nothing on the surface will ever attack us? Well, if we create the environmental difficulty to the max, you know, that'll literally kill off all the other colonies, you know, before we touch them. We should be digging, so let's dig up there. Yeah, let's just take out that real quick. So, do you want a team? Oh, yeah. No, I think mm, maybe once multiplayer comes out, because I think I think it would be interesting to be like, um, what's it called? Viewer uh, game night, where basically anyone who watches my streams is free to join. You know, just have a free for all, you know, dream party. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, I could stay in my nest, never dig it out, and win. How would they, uh, resolve that for multiplayer? How would they make it so, like, you still have a control over your nest entrance, but, like, in a conquest, you know, the enemy can still get to you. That's a little unfair if you dig out and, you know, they're just staying inside their nest, because let's face it, there will be the sweaty tryhards that, you know, will just stay inside the nest no matter what, and just won't come out. It's just because they want to win. Um, hmm. Let's go down here. Yeah, let's go down there. A few more spitters. Got all that's harvested. So let's get some food right up here. Um, yeah, we got a two-wide tile. Oh, yeah. No, I, I plan on doing, like, team-ups. If multiplayer does come out, I'm going to reach out to some, like, some other uh, people who uh, stream this game slash record this game. Like, I was thinking maybe, like, Death or Overwatch or, you know, maybe Buff or, like, really just anyone else that, want, you know, makes content for this game. Just have, like, a multi- Oh, you know, a YouTuber a game night. See who's the best YouTuber. They can make it so that there's a time before your next entrance opens. Why are there no melee? Because they are not worth the food right now. The ants must defend themselves. They're just as expensive pretty much as the spitters, but they have nowhere near the damage. Workers can act as a meat shield for the time being. 
Eventually, I will make the melee. It's just... Um... Uh, you know, not worth the food right now. Gotta ration it carefully at the beginning. I record this today. Oh, then, hey, there you go. I'll invite you. <laughs> I'll invite you, Vordana. And there we go. Hermit crabs are dead. Four adults. Can we handle that? Probably not, but I think I'm going to push my luck. Get my food stores all sorted out. And then, hmm. <laughs> Sitting in a decent amount. Yeah, let's expand our shooters. And how much food we got? A little bit. Okay, let's get two more then. Now where are we at? All that's gathered. At 130, 140-ish. 150. 160. <laughs> okay, maybe my predictions are very off. Um... I'm just going to open it up and see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, small hermit crabs. Well, that's even better. Get him! Gang up on him! Give him the old one, two, one. Ho, ho, ho. The food. Listen. Normal humans, they got stonks. We got foods. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. I kind of want to make like <laughs> make make that like a channel meme, just like foods. Mm. Man, oh, if I was like a Twitch channel, I could do my own like emotes, right? I would do maybe like a foods emote, or and I definitely got to do a fish emo emote. Fish. Yeah, to make sure nobody camps nests, they could make it so that there's a grace period then and, and it's open. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Um, yeah, it's hard to say, like, balancing multiplayer. It's just like, I'm not a game dev. And so, yeah, I don't know what the best practices are. I'm sure that maybe they're getting an idea because I think they're hopefully wrapping up the Fire Ant update soon. And I don't know. They, they said nothing about multiplayer. So who knows? Maybe they don't even have any plans for it yet. Hoping that's not the case, but you never know. We're not in their minds after all, unless, unless of course, one of you is psychic, in which case, please stop reading my mind. You do not want to be in there. Okay, 680 food. Oh yeah, that'll be plenty. That's the tier upgrade while we're there. Oh, we got the workers there doing the work. Um, Now where do we go next? Let's skip the large hermit crabs to last. And dig this, 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 and then we'll go south. Yeah, because good, they're all done harvesting. I have an idea for a mod a harder challenge mode. A much harder challenge mode. Interesting. I'm hoping that we see some cool stuff from the mods. Oh god. <laughs> I just thought of what someone might do with the mods. It's like put one of the devs' face on the queen, just like, you know, there's Mike's face just right there on the wood hand. <laughs> uh, I'm sure somebody's going to do that. I can just pretty much guarantee it. Oh, that's a bunch of spiderlings. Okay. Was not yes, expecting that, but. Defend themselves. I think we can handle it. More, I'm hoping we can handle it. So they do have a lot of damage, and they do move fast, so. Our shooters will have a little hard time handling them. Our workers will just melt in like five seconds. But it seems to be doing fine right now. All right, let's upgrade our mortars a little. There's 50 times the amount of extra enemies. Oh, jeez. Here's my face. Uh, yeah, no, I can I can picture that happening. You already know there's going to be some somebody that makes anime girls reskins. Like every ant is going to be some sort of anime girl. You know it. You know it in your heart. Uh, 
if, if I've learned anything from Fallout mods, it's that there's going to be an anime girl one. You just know. Uh, not too much more food there, but finish gathering one we got in front of us, and then we'll open up the second one. Mm, I'm gonna gather that last bit of food. And I'll guide you some more. Go over there and open it up. Just announce yourself as the FBI, and I'm sure they'll open up. Everyone opens up for the FBI, right? Right? The ants must you better, otherwise you're probably going to get shot. Ah, I don't know how much of a joke that is. Vitalings are causing a little bit of a nuisance, but we weren't grouped up, so that's probably why. I mean, we did handle a larger amount. There we go. I'm gonna take out this, then the last two down here, and then we'll go to the surface. Then we'll see what we get to deal with. Boop. Boop, boop. All right, level two. A lot less uh, Anna come in. Level, well, actually, just mortars. Once you start getting them upgraded, just like, mm. oof. I open up for the CIA. Um, alrighty then. I'm sure there's a pile on me somewhere. Just like, pond, streamer, hidden psychopath. Actually, not at all secret psychopath because everything he says and do is stupid and crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure something like that is somewhere. I don't open for the IRS. Ah, uh, so I see you're the one I talked to for my, uh, taxes. Uh. Well, in that case, I've committed massive amounts of insurance fraud. Uh, you know, I cheat on my taxes. I lie. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that on the internet. Disclaimer, I do not do any of that, okay? I, I, it's a joke, okay? I'm just trying to be funny. Please do not take anything I say seriously. If I'm saying some sort of crime that I'm committing, I'm lying. Just feel like I need to make that disclaimer because... I wouldn't be surprised if someone did try to call the police on me. The workers have done all and well, I don't want cops police. showing up at my door. Just saying, that's a small heart attack. You're just going about your day, all of a sudden, FBI, open up! Uh, come on, get, get those last few. Food. Or you could just turn around, that's fine too, I guess, why not? There we go. All right, now we charge south to the giant termite crabs. The ultimate test of survival. In fact, I'm going to upgrade a few more to level three. Oh! Well, that's easy. Defend themselves. Didn't realize they were separate groups. Sweet. Makes things so much easier. Look how big the level three ones are. So beefy. Oh, jeez. That poor crab. Looks like crab cakes are back on the menu, boys. Yeah. More upgrades going. Um. Now, once I'm done upgrading my shooters, what should I do? Should I get a thing of melee ants? I think I might. Yeah, I think I'll make this and like work. Uh, let's this real quick. Plan this out. Yeah, let's make that the um, the shields or the tanks, the walking tanks. Two more giant hermit crabs is going to meet their fate of a uh, ant's stomach. And let's. Start building a few of these melees. Everyone is here. Out of nowhere, Super Smash Brothers just adds melee wood ant. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. You just be like, I thought that, I thought I knew this game. I thought I knew what Smash was all about. Now, 
I don't even know what I am. I, I don't. I don't know if I'm like um adding ants into Smash is like a zebra just being like, all right, I'm confused. Am I white with black stripes or am I black with white stripes? I can't even tell the difference. That's what it tells every zebra. You ask a zebra that, and I'm guarantee you they're they're going to ask you. I don't know which stripes I am. I don't know which set of stripes I am. A very important question for zebras. The ants oh. must defend hey. themselves. And take at least three. Shouldn't be too too difficult. Hoping it's not anyway. Let's also add yeah, let's make this into workers and just have them in the nursery. First things first, we gotta take care of the hermit crabs right in front of us. Do, do, do. You love them. Mm. So yeah. Who's ready for literally any of the updates? It's just like, oh. I did hear that the newsletter was going to come out this week, so that's exciting. Can't wait to read it. To be honest, I love reading the newsletter every time I, it comes out. Every time I see it, I'm like, ooh, newsletter. If multiplayer. More like, um, yeah, if multiplayer. Well, even if they are planning on doing multiplayer, when multiplayer. So I'm down further south, so I gather things. Let's get the... Extra nursery workers placed down and ready. Wait, that's set by daylight. That's the wrong game. This is not a spooky horror game. This is a fun strategy ant game. If multiplayer does come out, looking forward to teaming with other YouTubers. Oh yeah. I'm just looking forward to like absolutely destroying at that. I want there to be a rank system in multiplayer. Oh, that would be so fun. I would try to be number one. I would 100% like just try hard to get number one. And to the surface we go. Where are we? All right, we're not green. I think we're red. Oh. Thank you, Hermit Crabs. Appreciate you. Actually, I appreciate whatever's over here murdering everything. Go on in. I want weaver ants or maybe Asian marauder ants because they're huge major ants. Well, see, see how they compare to like, you know, the leaf cutter major ants, but also the um, uh, the big headed ants. Do they have indeed a big head? And is it because they got what what fame get to their head? Are they secretly from Hollywood? Because that's probably what gave them their big head. And yeah, I know. Shots fired. Good for getting the nursery workers all settled. Way bigger. Way bigger, you say. Interesting. Uh, funnel webs down there. More interesting going on. Low health giant hermit crab. Uh... Nothing too exciting. Probably the most exciting area to be in. Let's stay here. Let's not kill my spitters, please. I'd really appreciate it. Zephyr, you underestimate my power! <laughs> Sorry, I went Super Saiyan for a second there. And this! is to go even further beyond what Super Ebola do. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it down. I don't want to upset my mom. No, they're just big brain. Ah. Uh, gotcha. See. Oh, they really cannot kill that one hermit crab. Jeez. Murder it already. Better be a lot of food in there. Please be a bit to food. I don't remember what the giant hermit crabs give for food. We were only fighting these hermit crabs, not those 
gigantic ones that are pretty much uber sized. We are running out a little low on food. Oh jeez, I did not realize how low on food we were. He's killed one and harvest its remains. I need it. The queen commands it. We're fighting two at once. Nice. The colony Here is goes stopped. one. There is not enough food. Okay, that's 200-ish food. food. Now we're focusing fire on the giant one. Should be able to take it out. Hopefully. Oh wow! It did it seriously just one shot the melees. I think it did. Running out of uh, army, you know, staying. Yeah, we're out of army on the front line, and because it's moving, it's just like, no. You cannot keep up with me. Please. Oh no, it's healing. Okay, well I guess we don't have the firepower to kill that. I guess we're going down there with our leftover workers. 200 food there. First things first, we need to just replenish our army. Like a small bit of a beating. This will make good meal. We can actually hatch some stuff now. Back in the nest. How did that do for our army? Ah, decent. Nice. So we should be able to handle most things, aside from giant hermit crabs, apparently. Why are they being friends? Stop being friends. Stop it! Get some help. Ooh, giant tiger beetle. I don't want to fight it, but I don't want it at the same time. Because I hate tiger beetles. Listen, I get PTSD when I think about a tiger beetle because of Hungry Spider. The ants must protect the queen. This is what I mean! PTSD! Right here. There we go. Should be able to fight it off, though. Give our queen time to recover. Get out of my nest! Get out of my swamp! Or, you know, just stay alive, I guess. The queen is in imminent danger. Yes, I realize we're working on it. We're going to kill it. It's just a matter of when. 86 food. What a ripoff. Oh, I guess we're going for round two. Whatever. We get a little bit more food. Let's say you want to harvest it and get it to the stores. However, no fighting for you two. Oh, small problem, small problem. Oh, very small problem. Very large problem. The ants must protect the queen. Everyone stop fighting. Gather food. The Society of Ants has failed. All has been <sighs> to ruin. And that's why I got PTSD. I still don't understand why I can dig like right as soon as I finish the level, but whatever. Let's reload. See if we can become bigger brain. Maybe it'll load us before we the hermit crab. Oh no. They reloaded us before we did literally anything. It must grow quickly if it is to survive. Yes, we will grow quickly, okay? It's just, you know, be patient. Because I have zero patience my own. That out. Also dig that out. Um then Yeah. That'll be perfect. That'll be perfectly fine. That'll be our entrance to the surface. That will give us our soldiers ready to go. Unfortunately, it was a big sad we did die. What can you do? Sometimes it just goes like that. Think you're bigger than you are, and then you realize, hmm, not. How unfortunate. 
you chose. Cool. Yeah. Do, do, do. Now I gotta start the process all over again. Yay! Still got some homework to do after this. Oh, worst. It's awful. Oh, what even do I? Oh, digital and social media management. Did you die? No, I went on vacation, you know, won a small island nation and uh, blew up the world. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. No, I did die. Um, a few tiger beetles invaded my nest and I couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle two giant tiger beetles bearing down on my nest. By that I mean literally they just the must killed everything the and then I was out. And they're reducing the food for whatever reason. It's supposed to be ten, not nine. Not some stuff. Boop, 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 boop. That I got this mem music memorized pretty much. Soon I'll start singing it like I like I do the, like I would the uh, the we the me theme. You know you know the one. I actually don't know how to sing it that well. Battle has begun. Whatever. Focus on what I can do well, and that's kill spiderlings. Good riddance. Then. Hmm. Question. And salsa. Um. Where am I going? Uh, let's set up right here. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. That'd be a good place. I think. Or it could be a horrible place. Hard to say. Oh, let's get that. Shooters. Never can go wrong with more shooters. Gonna be more spider wings in there. more fine if I just put them put the workers in the nursery group like I'm supposed to but no no <sighs> all right we all done we good we good no there you go and we can all group up over here. One big happy family. And we get to kill one giant happy family. Yeah, spiders. Yeah. There. Yeah. Easy peasy. I don't want the spitters in the group. I want the workers in the work group. Imagine that. Imagine having workers in the worker group. Makes sense. Uh, trying to think attention wise. I could make that a nest. Maybe a worker nest for the nursery. It will. You always need the uh, next nest expansion. The Nexus expansions. Or spitters, as usual. I don't have school tomorrow. Oh, I do. I have to wake up. Hang on, let me check my alarm. I have to be up. Oh, not too early. 9.25. Plus. Uh, not too bad it's better than the what 
eight-ish or so that I had to do last semester. That was fun. I think it will be a snow day. Well, lucky you. In college, okay, you still have snow days, but they're not as prevalent. I swear, in high school or elementary school, you know, <laughs> snow days never made sense to me when I was in school. It was just like, so I remember it's like, oh, we got an inch of foot, you know, inch of snow, you know, it's a light dusting. Guess we're canceling school. Meanwhile, the same school system, you know, the, the buses, it, the snow was so bad that like the, the school buses were fishtailing all over the road. And it's like, we want you to come in. Your luck, I have to be up by seven. I live on an island, so no snow. Oh. The ants must fight. Well, I should probably have my workers there. I get distracted. Dang it, chat, you distracted me too much. You dang dirty rotten kids, get off my lawn. Yeah. Island. That sounds nice. Which island? Is it like a Pacific island or is it like a Mediterranean? Or I guess Mediterranean. Or Caribbean. Which kind of island? Quite a few nice ones to choose from. Me, myself, I remember going to the Florida Keys and just absolutely loving it there. It was straight up my vibe. I have to get those crappy fake no machines. Yeah, um, not so much an issue here. It is, how warm is it at? All right, yeah, it's pretty warm, it's 28. That's actually really warm. It was a nice walk from from uh, my dorm to the parking lot. I wasn't freezing my ears off. Yesterday I had to do the same walk and I was just like, okay, any longer and I'm going to lose my ears. Oh, Puerto Rico, nice. Nice place to be. I remember when I was in the Keys, there was a, you know, private island that like was given to us for the week because no one was renting it. So they're like, hey, we're, I'm not going to make any money off of it. So you might as well get some fun out of it. It was nice. Oof. Had a land bridge and everything to the mainland. And uh, right nearby, there was this restaurant I remember going to. It was called uh, Porky's. Oh, they had the best ribs I've ever had. Really good. Some nice cheese cheese fries. Um, and the, the dessert was the most amazing thing I've ever had. It was fried key lime pie. Oh, it sounds disgusting and weird. But oh my god, it was so good. It was like... It was the perfect combination of like crunchy, savory, sweet, rich, melty. Oh, cannot recommend it enough. I swam with a dolphin last week. Well, thanks for showing off. Thanks for rubbing it in. Here, we're trying not to freeze um, literally every body part off. It's, it's that cold. I mean, it's going to, what? I saw snow in the forecast. Yeah, it's Saturday, it's going to snow. 90% chance of snow. Yep. My friends, Chris and Josh, they live in uh, Texas, right? And Chris, oh, it's so cold out. I'm like, Chris, what is cold by Texas standards? Uh, it's 50 degrees right now. I'm like, 50 degrees. And you're complaining about the cold. Oh, don't get me started on this. Do not get me started. I want to try octopus, but I don't know how it'll taste, so I'm scared. Well, that's kind of the whole point of trying things. You don't know what it's going to taste like. Uh, what was something I wanted to try? Oh, yeah, it was kind of like in the Keys. I was going to try uh, crab, because I really haven't had it. any crab. Actually, I haven't had crab yet. Crab yet. But when I was down there last, it was like 50 bucks for like a little bit of crab. And I was like, okay, then I guess this is not the right season to be buying that. I live in Ohio, so cold. I swim in the snow today. <laughs> oh, it's snowing, yeah. Yeah, I live in uh, Connecticut, so it's cold. <laughs> Good old New England weather, eh? My, uh, my history professor, he was uh, from California, right? 
he was tell he was talking about the weather in class. He's like, you know, I was used to it always being sunny here. Someone once told me, if you don't like the weather in New England, just wait five minutes and it'll change. And he's like, and you know what? He's right. It does change a lot. It seems like every five minutes. One minute it'll be bright, sunny, you know, just nice and warm. The next it's like downpouring, thunder and lightning. And it's just like, I'm sorry, where did this come from? Well, it's also hard to see because it's very mountainous slash uh, forested. It's 83 over here. It's cold. You know what? Just for you, okay? Just for you, Stitches. For me, at least. Shit. Shit, let's quit rubbing it in. I'm not used to cold yes, anymore. I don't think you know what true cold is. Uh, I live in Canada. Okay, yeah, Void Dino, I think, is the authority on cold here in uh, chat. Because... I mean, it gets decently cool here, but like Canada's worse. Fun, fun, fun thing. My college is like a 45, 45 minute drive north of where I live, like just straight north. I follow the same road up towards the Canadian border or into Mass. Um, it's actually warmer at my college than it is in my hometown. Where's the justice in that? It's like, not, not a lot. Or like, So right now in my town, it's 28. High of 41 and low of... Hang on, my phone's being difficult. 19. Westfield, 43. High of 43 with a low of 23. It's 30 right now. So it's a little uh, warmer. Not by much, but still. It's like, bruh. I don't want to deal with that. Don't really want to deal with that. Probably be getting some workers. Um, let's dig in there. Yeah, let's do that. Open that up. Open up FBI. And whoa, ooh, crab. Crab. The ants must defend themselves. Oh yeah, we'll be able to take that on. No problem. <sighs> well, now that we spent like 20 minutes talking about the weather. Uh, it's like we're a bunch of old men, I swear. Like, what's next? We're going to be talking about Vietnam. Oh, I remember my time in Vietnam. You should build more workers. You know what? I would love to. If I had the food. Kinda hard to make stuff without resources. San. That was 100% what my plan was. Because I know seven workers is not going to cut it for a meat shield. Especially against the bigger threats. Though usually the high in summer is 30. Last summer it was 43. I'm sorry, in summer... Oh, right. Celsius. Alexa, what is 30 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit? Hey, 86. Good. Alexa, what is 43 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit? That's warm. That's warm. When I was uh, in Oregon, me, my dad and I sometimes would go back, you know, to go camping and hiking and all that stuff, all sorts of outdoorsy kind of things. Um, when we were out there one summer, the highest place we saw was it got to 110 degrees. And I'm just like, geez. And he loves warm weather. Like the warmer the weather, the better. But even he was like, yeah, this is just too hot for me. It's not you know, fun to do anything. Good lag spike, but I will just or workers back into an army group. Uh, let's get detail. Uh, let's dig in. Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? Get a few more workers. Come on, kill the spiders, please. When I tell someone. People, I only know Fahrenheit people stare at me. 
Yeah, Fahrenheit is literally just only an American thing. I like how it's just like, we could go Celsius like the rest of the world, or we could do our own thing. America, fuck yeah. Right now it's zero. All right, that means it's 32 degrees. I'm sorry. You're in Canada, and it's warmer there. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. It should be cooler in Canada, not here. I live a few hours south of Canada. Why have you forsaken us, Lord? Oh, uh, that's the only reason I can think of for why, you know, weather makes zero sense. Unfortunately, it makes zero dollars, too, because you never see money falling out of it. Imagine if money just fell from the sky. That'd be interesting. And I'd yeah, also be questioning uh, who robbed a bank. All right, let's there. Start setting up um, just a little bit. All right, open it up. Do spiderlings we'll have to deal with. Build it. I can predict these things now. Because truth be told, I'm from the future. Oh no, if I was from the future, this is not the time I'd go back to. I'd go to literally any other time. Global warming. Yeah. I remember having a discussion with like in high school with like this one person who was really into the environment and stuff like that. He's like, they, you know, it's not global warming anymore. It's climate change. And I'm just like, okay, why'd you change it? And it's just like, cause apparently global warming was like not accurate enough or something like that. And I'm just like, or like it wasn't warming. It was cooling too. Just like, I don't know. Welcome to America. We use guns more than we do our brains. Oh yeah, we have something called Fahrenheit. We need global cooling. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, listen, this is America. We don't care about facts, okay? Looks at just looked at the vaccination rates. <laughs> Actually, just if you, if you want to know, know what, what what Americans think about facts, just just go to any political area of the web of the internet. Seriously, doesn't matter which side you go on, both sides ignore the facts. I love how everyone's always screaming at the other, that it's like, oh, it's the other side's fault. It's like, nah, it's called both of you are fucking idiots. And you just need to calm down and actually grow the fuck up. No one's impressed with the size that you are trying to measure. <laughs> the ants must right. defend themselves. Well, that's enough ranting about politics for me. Let's instead rant about how these spiderlings are going today. Rip and tear. That, that'd be cool, Mod Dad. Doom Man in Empires of the Undergrowth. Just the queen becomes Doom Slayer. Just hear a bunch of heavy metal music instead of the cool soundtracks. Um. Yeah, let's start upgrading this. Two speed tiles. Okay, there we go. All collected. Now we go. Let's go in there. Yeah, let's see what's in there. Um, probably larva, right? Oh, no, spiderlings. Interesting. Not expecting that. Was not expecting also that my you know, ants were going to be stupid and not group up. Typical AI. Ugh. The AI is the worst. Well, you're the one in charge of the egg. Shut up, little Timmy! Just tell me what to do, you little shit. Where to God. Oh, backseat gamers are the absolute worst. Do you ever have that friend that's just like always trying to tell you how to play the game? I have a weak New Jersey accent, so when I visited a friend from London, we both listened to each other's accents. It was so awkward. Yeah. I have a friend who lives in the, the UK, and I'm just like, whenever we talk, I'm just like, Listen, speak English. Well, I am speaking English. No, you aren't. Because anyone who speaks English knows that those things that you get at McDonald's, those are called fries, not chips, you idiot. I swear to 
god. I like that, like, if you ever have to choose, like, if you ever choose a language in a game, it's like, there's two, like, there's technically two different versions of English. There's the UK version and then the US version. Because, honestly, my, they might as well be different languages. Like, I think even, like, Aussie and, like, New, uh, New maybe not New Zealand, like, I think there's, like, a Australian version of, uh, English. All the snow where I am is frozen. That makes it to slide down. Sounds fun. I live on the top of a very small hill, but, you know, it's very steep. Unfortunately, it's not a very good sledding hill because at the bottom is a bunch of thorn bushes. So that's not exactly something you want to go sliding into. Uh, let's go up here. Go up here and murder those. Then I guess we'll go other places. There's actually more food underground on this one. Maybe, possibly, possibly. Uh, let me two DCH. Charge him. Wall a little. The end. That's fine. Fight to the death. They die all the same. I predict a riot. Dun, 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 dun. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm singing. The low this winter is like 35. I'm sorry, is that Celsius? That's... That doesn't sound like winter. Because apparently, if that's like 100 degrees, that doesn't sound right for Canadian winter. It sounds like a, you know, like a Mexican winter. It's literally anywhere but the north part of North America. Go in there, kill the hermit crab that's probably there. What else would be in tiny space like that? Yep, I knew it. All right, where's my ult? Okay. Defend themselves. Whatever. You do you. In Eto, when the narrator says woodless, I was so confused. I soon know. Soon found out they were roly polies. Yes, roly polies, wood lice are the exact same thing. Wood lice is like the more technical version, but most people just call them roly polies. Not the K-pop group. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know K-pop. What kind of music do you do you all listen to? Um. That was not at all intentional. I don't normally say y'all, but I, I do listen to country. You got a problem with that? Hell then, fuck you. It was something I was always, you know, I grew up on. My dad wears a cowboy hat in Connecticut, okay? So, you know. Plus, all, both my parents were really into horses. Uh, my dad's a farrier, so he takes care of horses' feet, putting on shoes and stuff. My mom, well, she was taking care of the horses for a private school in town, and both of them did ride. Actually, they did, um, they did do events, event jumping. Both had horses, of, they had Max and Jake. Their show names were Mad Max and Blackjack. I uh, did not meet those horses. Maybe did. You were dead a while. Will fight to the death. That hermit crab is going to be dead for a while. Am I right or am I right? I listen to Spanish music, but I'm not picky. I just choose whatever's on the radio in the car. Yeah, I get you. Like, for me, I just keep it on the country station in, in the area because that's what I prefer. But like, if I'm out at a restaurant or whatever, I don't care what I'm listening to. It's just like, but if I had a choice in the matter, that's what I'm going to pick. I worked at a bowling alley for three years. It was always the same popular song, so it was like, always like a lot of pop, a little bit of rap, uh, some rock thrown in there, but mostly pop, you know. Taylor Swift was in there a few times and some random people that I'd never heard of. Uh, 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 probably upgrade those to level three. Okay, well, few of them. I have a pet cow. Interesting. 
cow. I'm, I'm trying to think of something clever to say, but I got nothing. I guess you could say I'm utterly useless. Alright, no, stop. Uh, uh, let's the focus on upgrading our shooters, eh? Chamber. Uh, those are going to be two giant hermit crabs. Those are going to be two giant hermit crabs. I guess I'm fighting hermit crabs. I should have enough food to punish my army. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Yeah. It's 35 below this winter. Again, is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? Because that's a big difference. You know, 35 in Fahrenheit versus 35 in Celsius. Pretty yes, much the opposite spectrum of the mercury. Uh, fun fact. Last semester there was like... I got an email being like, Hey, so we kind of found random bits of mercury on in one of the uh, like auditoriums. It's just like... I'm sorry, but why is there random bits of mercury just on the ground lying there? Celsius. Canada is a fucking warm winter for Canada. Jeez. I went to a zoo in New Jersey and they had when they had a cow and peacocks, so I was like, these are my pets. You got peacock too? Yeah, I know a few people have like peacocks, you know, on farms here in America. Um actually I think when I went to Oregon there was this one person who had peacocks on their farm. But yeah, no, a lot of zoos will have it like a petting zoo too, so it's just like pretty much farm animals just in a petting zoo. Don't know why, but they do. So let's dig into those because they'll be just larva or spiderlings. Uh, upgrade that. That. Boop, boop. Trying to make sure I have enough food for reinforcements. Try not to get too wild and crazy. Wait, no, it's very cold. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh. Minus 35. I thought it was positive 35. <laughs> I was like, jeez, that's like 100 degrees here. That, there's no way it's that that warm. The battle has begun. Oh. Those poor spiders. <laughs> Yeah, when when someone in Puerto Rico is jealous of how warm it is in Canada, something's not right. Yeah, minus 35. Okay, that's a little... I think that's like minus 30 in Fahrenheit, too. I think, right, yeah, like right around the minus 20, minus 30 mark, it's like starts to become the, the exact same, where it doesn't matter whether you're talking about Celsius or Fahrenheit anymore. Um, any more stones up around that I haven't seen? Nope. Okay. The work is those. They can to prepare Upgrade the food stores. That way we can get all that stored up. Yeah, it's very cold. I was going to say, um, that's frost punk levels of cold. Oof. The game starts off at, what, negative 20, I think is like, you know, where you're at. And it's like, okay, that's pretty cold. That's pretty cold. Wait, I think the coldest temperature it gets in that game is minus 110. Which, no thanks. Please, no. The coldest thing in my house is the AC or freezer. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Wimp. Puerto Rico. Yeah, again, when, like, it's 100 degrees here, you know, that's probably, like, nothing for you. It's just like... Yeah, we're, we're used to, you know, that kind of heat. Whereas me, I'm just like, where's the AC? Ugh. Yeah, again, I'm like that anyway in this room because, like I said, this room has zero temperature control. Because it's got no insulation. Why? I don't know. But it doesn't. Though it gets very hot in the summer and very cold in the winter. And then it gets... You know, the other temperature when day or night comes around. Open that up. Ooh, adult. Okay. Well, it's dead. Um, yeah, these will be the nursery helpers. Do, do, oh. 
Where's my soul? Died. Not all of them. Keep getting your helpers all set, settled and situated. I'm used to 25 highs in summers. 25, yeah. All right, yeah. I'm jealous that you guys don't have mosquitoes. No, we do. We most certainly do. I was so I I worked at a golf course over the summer, right? Okay, we do. Actually, we may have cockroaches. I have no idea, but we do have mosquitoes. I was working at a golf course. All, I don't know what it was, but like the bugs just got so bad. Oh yeah, because we had a bunch of storms. So like the, the golf course is on a protected wetlands. So, you know, it's standing water. Well, the, the course got completely flooded. Like pretty much all the holes were underwater. So like... You know, it was just standing water, perfect for mosquitoes. Like, if you went over to blue, you got eaten alive. Ugh. Or cockroaches, or iguanas. Iguanas are cool, I don't know what you're talking about. Or when I go to lakes, there's like 50 mosquitoes. Let's trade our iguanas for your New York rats. 50. Yeah, I, there was a few more than like 50 at work. And then I remember one day, I don't know what kind of bug it was, but like, it, they were just everywhere, literally flying in my face. I couldn't see because that's how many bugs there were in my face at one time. Like, went to my car, they were just covered in my car, you know, covered in my car. I just had to stay in my car between uh, washing down carts just so I could actually see and not have bugs in my face. Get back to the game. Uh, dig this out and then we go to surface. Yeah, there's two billion in my house. But trust me, you don't want New York rats. Oof. We're, we're, like, I cannot tell you how many, like, different ways they keep on trying to come up with ways to get rid of the rat problem. The has begun. Guess what? None of them are successful. Turns out rats are a little tougher to kill than you think. 550, I mean 500 on me at once. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit more, uh severe than 50. 550. One zero makes a difference. Uh, there. No. Wheeze. This for our melees. That's where are we? Are we yellow? No, we are not. We are red. Um, ooh. Something went on over here. Let's go over there. Let's just get a few melees. Start out with. At least rats you can feed to the vipers over here that come every two days. Not joking. I'm sure. I remember in the keys on that island, they're like, stay on the cart, stay on like the little paths that are laid around because there are scorpions on the island. Yeah, not one mess around with scorpions. Trust me. I used to live in Oregon, so there were scorpions there too. I was an idiot with a scorpion once. My dad was like, it was pitch black out, right? Because we were in the middle of nowhere, so there was zero lights. And like, my dad was taking a stick to, like, poke at a scorpion for whatever reason. And, like, I had the only light on. You know, just, a, like, a little headlamp. And for whatever reason, I was decided to mess around with the light. So I accidentally turned off the light on my dad. He's like, why did you turn off the light when I'm handling a poison, a venomous creature? Like, I don't know. I was trying to make the light better. We don't have scorpions last, I think. That's good. At least one less poison, poisonous or venomous thing you have to deal with. Another one of my friends, she lives in uh, Florida. She's like, you know, there's always like spiders everywhere in her house just because, you know, it's, you know, apparently where they all live. Just a bunch of spiders and like snakes and stuff like that. Reminds me of a photo she sent me. She's like, yep, this pretty much sums up Florida in a nutshell. It was literally a guy... Yo, just, there was a gator in front of his store with a t-shirt on, 
and the guy just picks up the gator, puts him over his shoulder, and carries him inside the store. I'm like, yeah, that sounds like Florida, all right. It's that kind of weird place. And harvest the beetles, please. Thank you. That's nothing. Uh, that's a decent amount. I don't know. Anywhere else? Can't wait till they add scorpion in tier 5 so we can eat them. And you got a weird obsession with eating stuff. I'd check it. I'd get that checked out. You might have OCE. O obsessive compulsive eating. Uh, how are we doing on melee? Want to add more? I don't think. Do, 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 do. All right, we're doing so much damage we can actually kill the ladybugs. Hooray! Get wrecked, ladybug! Now, what are the enemies doing? Oh, two cutters on the march for food. That's a different one, different colony. Oh. They're dealing with a few shooters. What about you? What about me? Oh. I think we are going to have some visitors on the side of our nest. Take that out, just more fighting space. It's because I don't trust the tiger beetles. I don't know why I don't trust the tiger beetles. Hmm, maybe the last time. Huh. We have caimans, not the dinosaurs in Florida. Oh, yeah, those are crocs. Yeah. I forget. Like, Florida's the only place for gators, and, like, everywhere else has crocs for whatever reason. It's just, like, they're pretty much the exact same thing. Why does Florida be the only one with gators? Makes no sense. Where to go? Where to go? Uh. Ugh. Oh, still tired. Um, okay, you're committing suicide. I I see that. Yeah, let's go up there. Sure, why not? Move it from there. Protect the aphids. Sounds like a good idea. Needle down. I repeat, Beetle is down. Beetle is down. Get rid of the rest of the friendos. Fighters are so annoying. That is the biggest problem with mortars, is they really cannot handle fast-moving targets like spiders. Just for whatever reason, the mortar just cannot track the spiders as well. But, I mean, they still get the job done. It just takes them a little more time. And say, like, a rapid fire. Get there in the end, though. We'll get there eventually. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, let's get some more melees. Yeah, let's just fill up the rest of the nest. Sure. Da, da. I, uh, my gamer endurance is, like, questionable right now. Oh. Where? I don't drink coffee or, like, energy drinks or anything like that. I'm usually pretty high energy without all that stuff, but, like, every time I stream, it's just, like, it takes all the energy out of me. It's just, like, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, I'm not a very social person. Like, I'm the kind of person that is perfectly fine just same staying in my room for like years and not talking to anyone the reason i have a dorm room in the first place is to try and expand my horizons branch out and talk to people it's uh not going too well uh, upgrades do, 
food stores. That I'll do. Can't wait until we have fire ants in Eto because there's so little options right now. Like there's only Gene Thief, Black Ants, Wet Ants, Leaf Cutters, and Counterpart. So little options. Yes, I am looking forward to fire ants. That alone brings up the amount of options by 16%. And then once you add the little black ants and then the big headed ants, oof. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. So yeah, when free play first got launched, what was your favorite uh, game mode? Like, because I know Conquest was not one of the original ones. So what was your favorite game mode to like just mess around with? For me, I think it was probably Hunter. That was my favorite. Didn't really like the other game modes. Just because, you know, it's like, all right. Oh, well, that's kind of easy. There's not too much challenge to it. We'll get there eventually. This was before the enemy colonies got added, so it was just like, like biomass. It's like, all right, that's just a matter of time. I'm going to get there no matter what, because the environment isn't that challenging. Your favorite was besieged. I can see that. That one's actually challenging if you're not prepared. Um, let's see. There was hunter, uh, biomass, uh, domination. I don't remember that one. I think that was just scoring points. Yeah. Because I kept getting determined to win, but lose. Ah, well, that's a small problem. Don't exactly want to lose. Uh, there'll be a nest. Make that a nest, but that seems like a bad idea. It's just far from the queen. Nest. That'll be another spitter one. This will be a uh, melee. And then from there, I have no idea. Survival is basically biomass. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I'm just glad that the devs, you know, are listening and just adding more options. I won't be on top of the Fire Ant update because I got school and sports five days a week. Uh, what sports do you play? When I was in uh, high school, I used to play football. I wasn't very good at it, but I went along with the team. We had enough guys for three full teams. So I was on fourth team. <laughs> it was not very good, like I said. I I was five to a hundred pounds. I was a lineman. That's why I was never used. <laughs> I wonder what will be the difference between Bombardier Beetles and False Bombardier Beetles. I think False Bombardier Beetles, um, they don't do the acid spray. I think that's what they, as we're talking about. Soccer and Judo. Oh, interesting. I, I never liked soccer. I hate watching it. I hate playing it. In fact, I actually got kicked out of a soccer arena when I was like four. I, uh, I misinterpreted the coach's instructions. The coach was like, it was like, keep away pretty much one of the girls. She had the ball and was like trying to keep it away from us. He told us to get the ball and I misinterpreted it or something. So I tackled her. <laughs> I straight up football tackled her. And just like, you know, she was crying. They banned me and kicked me out. I was like, ugh. Like, I didn't know what they meant. <laughs> but yeah, in judo, I actually, I wouldn't, I guess you wouldn't, it's kind of like judo, not really. I do Jukido Jiu-Jitsu, or I used to. I will start eventually, you know, back up eventually, you know, once the current situ world situation calms down a little and it's less likely to kill me. But, um, yeah, I was a brown two in Jukido Jiu-Jitsu. I liked it a lot. Unfortunately, you know, things happen. Mama's going to Vancouver to pick up my family's new dog. Ah, oh, congratulations. What kind of dog is it? Is it one of the bigger ones or is it like a tiny one? Is it like, a, are you getting like a tiny chihuahua or are you getting like a giant, uh, uh, that's not St. Bernard. Giant ones, giant ones, absolutely gigantic. Uh. Why am I blanking on this? 
I'm more of a baseball player. Yeah, me too. I wasn't very good at baseball either. I was always sent into the outfield, but I got on base pretty decent just because, like, um, I was a lefty. Apparently, no one knows how to pitch to a lefty, so I'd always, like, they'd always walk me pretty much, so there's that. I want a husky because they're floofy. They are floofy, but they are an absolute pain. My cousin had a husky, and yeah, they're very nice and friendly and floofy. My god, they're loud in the pain. Probably if I was to get a dog, it would be a German Shepherd. I've got a cat. Let me get a picture for you. Uh, da -da -da, hang on a second. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was him. He, that was him freaking out. Because, like, he doesn't like the birds. So, like, my mom was, like, putting on a cat TV session for her for him. Like, she, she was like, he just seems bored. So, put on, like, some birds from YouTube for him to, like, watch and kind of, like, play with. And he just went absolutely nuts. Here. Here's a picture of my cat. Yeah. Trying to get it right. Yeah, he's very... His name is Leo. He's adorable, but he's trouble. He is very much trouble. He's... He's a very insecure cat. I'd pick any dog that has perched ears and is decently big. Yeah, I get you. Oh, I guess we're heading... We're heading a spike. Yep. Guess we hit a spike because I don't remember it being that difficult. Oh, we're full up on food. I should probably play the game. Go figure, playing the game actually important. Um, these bitters. There we go. Hopefully, oh, spider, spider. But I don't want to deal with it. Now let's turn off. Fighting and food gathering for the workers. Sure, we can handle it. Maybe. Probably. Not really. Okay, let's get back inside. Um, but yeah. Leo, he's very insecure. Like, whenever I'm downstairs, like, hanging out with my mom on the couch, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, he has to literally just lie on my mom's chest. Doesn't do that when I'm not around, but whenever I'm around, he's just like, I need help, help. He just like has to crawl up there. I'm going to name my kitten that I'm getting soon, Fusca. <laughs> nice. But yeah, he's very insecure. Hates it when I touch his butt. Like whenever I go near his like butt or like his back end, because there's like a few tangles back there. He's just like, mm, don't touch, don't touch me. Same thing with his paws. Like you start like brushing his paws. He's just like, no, bad. I'm going to attack you. Does he have Formica? <laughs> His name is Fusca, not not Formica. Or yeah, Fusca's the black ants. So no, it does not have Formic acid. If it was Rufa, then yes, it might have Formic acid. Uh, feeders. The workers have done all they can Let's just to clear this brood chamber. All it good. Decent amount of food there. I guess the food's going away. Food's had enough play. Ugh. But yeah, he's a weird cat, but I love him. He's very, very photogenic. I, I swear, half the time he's just like posing. You know, always got his chest hair foofed out, you know, always looking very regal. Always has to have his head against, like, everything. Like, he always has to, like, have his head against the arm of the couch. And, like, he'll he'll take his paw, put it up against the little uh, armrest, and then set his head on his paw. Always has to be on some sort of pillow, too. It's just, like, so pathetic. So unbelievable. Going on over here. Spiders. Get the fuck out of my colony. I like cats because they use their paws and sand on their highlands more often. I don't know why though. 
It's like a little furry companion. He... Yeah, cats are my preference too. Like, I, I, I like dogs. You know, like, if I was to get a dog, I would 100% get a German Shepherd because they're like my style, but... You know, cats are cool too. Cats are just more my style. They're very chill. They're very friendly. Well, some of them are. And yeah. They just... They're just very chill. That's probably why I like about them. They're just like... So zen. Don't really care what's going on. I'm going to attack them and see how well I do. See what happens. Got the food just in case things are south. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we not the only ones attacking? I think we are not. I rescued my cat like as soon as it was born, so I had to get bottles and it was so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, kittens can be a bit difficult to train. Wait, my cat's still like a kitten. Still does not know how to use the cat door. He just sits down and is like, help, oh, please let me down. Like if we let him, when we first let him down into the basement, he just like press his face up against like the cat door. He'd be like, help. Help me, I'm stuck! Ugh. He, oh, I love him. But he's not bright. He is a complete idiot. Oh. That's just fine. That's a rumor crab. It's nothing too major to deal with. What's going on over here? Oh, we're going through the, the leaf cutters. Okay, that's fine. As long as we're ripping through them, that's fine. I'm going to gather the food and then head back to the nest. Yep. And where's the rest of my horde? There's my horde. My cat follows me at least. So that's a perk. Yeah, he follows me too. But like, she... He's, um... It's mostly when you, like, you're feeding him. He just like sits there and meows and just like won't shut up. My cat hates everyone besides the little girls and me for some reason. I'm sorry, did you just call yourself a little girl, Stitches? I mean, not saying that like that's an issue or anything. I'm just like, did you just call yourself that? <laughs> Gotta go. Uh, see you, Void. Oh, what's going on over here? Mass in the defense. We can't have that. Take him down! Oh, they went through my front line a lot faster than I was hoping. Okay, well, looks like we need a little bit more food. A little bit. Oh, a lot of food up. Yeah, let's go up there. A lot of food up there. We just need to upgrade the tanks a little bit. I mean, legit, she only likes little girls and me. Well, sometimes that's the way it is. Like, I swear. Like, my grandma's cat. She was like... She was like anti-men or something like that. She only liked women. Like, I swear. Every single woman that came into the house, you know, she was like, ha you know, she was like, hi, how's it going? Okay, you can pet me for like five seconds. But then that's it. Any any man that came in the building, she's like, no, stay away from me. I'm going to scratch you and bite you. Most animals love me. Most animals are just like, hey, how's it going? You know, let me pet them and whatnot. But like, no, not her. She never wanted anything to do with me. All right. Ooh. They migrated a little bit. Fine, it's fine. As long as we're gathering up food, we need a little bit more tanky front line. That should do a little bit. I want to upgrade those to three sooner rather than later. For right now, we need a better front line. And then 100% better shooters. There. Threats has been dealt with. Just need to harvest all the food. Oh, 
a little early, but whatever. Get out of here, you darn ladybugs. No one likes you. I have an animal, sure. Every animal is pretty chill to me. Yeah, most animals are pretty chill. Although, some people, they just do not go well with periods. Like, it's like animals can sense the evil in others. I heard somewhere that true evil can be sensed by children and animals. I'm a combination of the two, so. I have an animal aura. Every animal. Ah, oh, that's. Are you correct to that? All right, getting up there with food. Those to level three spitters. They can to prepare this brood chamber. Yeah, yeah, food chambers prepared. Whatever. Unless you keep gathering food, I don't care what you do. The other colonies are pretty small, actually. Maybe we could strike. I'm actually going to strike their call. Now is the perfect opportunity. Do do. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Everyone inside the nest. I think they're attacking me. Got plenty of. Yep, we. They are. I knew it. I knew it. You need more spitters inside the nest asap. It is sad. I think green is broken. They keep sending their armies to the edge of the map and then come back to the nest. Uh, maybe. Hard to say. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, they broke through my front lines. I don't have much of a front line. I was mostly focused on the back line. That is a small problem. But whatever, we can handle it. We can, we can handle this, okay? Everyone just chill out. There we go. Oh, I guess our hermit crab decided to come say hi too. Sure, why not? More the merrier, I guess. Yeah. Now we can just focus on the hermit crab. Oh jeez. Look at that damage. Oof. Oh, here comes more ants. Fine. They won't be able to stand up to our artillery. Oh, there is a lot of them. Hopefully I have enough food to handle the siege. I'm really hoping I have enough food. We are tearing through large amounts of them, causing them a significant amount of food to be wasted. Will it be enough is the question. Hard to say. Definitely putting a dent in them. Oh yeah, here comes another wave. Another giant wave of them. But it does not matter, they die all the same. Do 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 dun 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 dun. Oh we oh yeah, they're they're retreating. But green is now attacking. Fun. Unfortunate. Hold back some of that food, please. We could use a little bit of it in our nest. Doesn't seem like green's nearly as strong. So I probably shouldn't have opened up my big mouth. I wish the fire ants in tier four would have majors because IRL they do. I mean, yeah, but like I guess you couldn't make them too special, I guess. But in my opinion, I think they're just going to easily outclass black ants. Like I don't like black ants now when their only competition is really uh army ants. I'm just like, yeah, my phone's about to die, so I won't be typing, but I'll still be watching because I have the stream on my Xbox. Oh, nice. It's fine. I don't care what you do. You do you. You do what you need to do. The green's coming back for another attempt. Sure. We can handle them. 400 food. I wish we had a little bit more, but fine. Oh, no, yellow's not attacking. I thought they were attacking something. Oh, 
The thing getting attacked here is Green's Pride. Oof. And, well, there are you too, but not as much. Not as much fun as saying their pride's dying. My army is kind of dying. Can we survive the siege? Uh, looks like Green's pretty much out of troops now. Looks like we held the line. Congratulations, winner is us. Unfortunately, though, it seems like Blue's coming back for another attempt. I need food. Period. Go there, then. Actually, no. Let's go there. I guess the funnel up spiders are dead. Oh, no. Gotta stay in the nest. Ugh. Hopefully they get some sort of... Please. Nope. We're just going to waste a little bit more. Okay. Sure. <sighs> These ant attacks are annoying. These enemy colonies are becoming a nuisance. I guess green's coming back for another attack. Good. Yay. That's what I wanted. Or they'll die. Yellow's doing... Something. Can you just leave me alone for like five seconds? I need to gather food. Oh, okay. Okay. Sending more troops. Yay. Woo. The winner is me. Oh, my. Ugh. I want to get... Oh, food's coming to us, apparently. Thank you, Tiger Beetle, for coming in and saying hi. Because we need that food. Desperately. I think I can do a challenge. No, I cannot. The, the enemy armies coming in are just too big for us to handle, like, with the troops passing through. But it's... Like, I, it's... Small enough where I could be like, we can handle it without having to, you know, concentrate our forces. But at the same time, it's like too big for us to not really think about it and focus on it. I'm stuck in a weird position. So I think we've just achieved an opening. Head up there. Move, move, move. The opportunity is here. The opportunity is knocking. Another tiger beetle dead? Sure. Alright. You ants are in our nest, but we can take care of them. There. Pink. Oh, jeez. How many spiders are there? 179 difficulty. A lot of spiders, though, that are just absolutely wrecking our ants. They're gone now. They can't hurt us anymore. Bad. Come on, let's kill these giant tiger beetles. Lure them. Yes. Kill one. Be a lot happier. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I thought we did kill one, but no, we did not. Sadly, we did not. Sadly, we are still under attack. God. The enemy colonies are starting to drive me a little bit crazy. Starting to annoy me a little. Uh, that's quite the party going on down there. All right, you, you done? You good? No. Oh. They are for like five seconds, so I'll take it. Move up. We need more food. There's plenty near our doorstep. Kill at least one of the tiger beetles. Hopefully. That looks like we'll kill the two. Yeah. 
And, oh, okay. Well, no, the funnel webs are going to die. They're just going to be a complete nuisance. There we go. Second tiger beetle, or third tiger beetle has come into our area. Going back underground. Getting annoying. Alright, we're able to maintain some sort of food store, but I can't really upgrade anymore just because I'm worried about, like, you know, losing too much food. Not having the place where we lose. We should be able to handle that. Uh, well, actually, the funnel webs will handle that. I won't be handling a thing. Head up north. That's where the food is. That's where the land of milk and honey is. Now feast, my children. Feast. Funnel web coming on in. Coming in hot. So we got the other beetle. Now let's get the poppy seeds. Move a little further south, because that's where all the food is gathering. Oh! Oh, I would love to gather all that food, but um, I don't think I can get to it. Far of a travel. Fortunately, when we're constantly under siege like this. Especially when things keep on trying to get in my nest. Apparently. That's fine. Another beetle down. That means more food nearby. Sweet. Oh, okay, there we go. The other one's dead. Uh, let's upgrade the shooters, because those are our money makers. So that way we can always keep up with the offense. Fall it off. That can... Du, du, du. Dun 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 And now he waits for the siege to be over. Actually I think it's over. Move up here. Move real quick. All we can. The yellow might be underground. They're having a hard time dealing with uh the environment. Maybe. Hard to say. I wish we could have x-ray vision. I would love an observer mode for free play. Like, just set up a weird scenario and just be like, alright, I just want to see what happens. So you could, like, look inside each nest and stuff like that. Just have fun observing. I think that would be really cool. A lot of interesting ideas could come out. Oh my god, that's so much fun. I'm going for it. It's, it's so much to ignore. Too much to ignore. In fact, I'm going to upgrade my shooter. Done all they can to prepare there we go. Chamber. In fact, I'm going to upgrade some of my, my melees, too. It's because we might need a few more melees to keep the front line under control. You're back, Bordanos. What's up? Right now, we uh, fended off a bunch of attacks from it. The other colonies and we are trying to exploit this um uh, yeah apparently quite the party happened that i was not invited to i don't i'm never invited to parties anyway uh let's get some that'll be melees yeah, I 100% that was really. Let's get another chamber set. Just had to have dinner. That's fine. No, you cannot eat. You must sit here and watch my stream, or else you'll get a hundred eyelashes. That'll be the punishment. Lesson for all of you. Never miss one of my streams where I will find you. You know, give you eyelashes. Whether you like it or not, 
and the more you are late to my streams, the bigger and bolder the eyelashes get. Soon you might have... If you're... If you show up at the end of the stream, you might get... Brass and bold eyelashes. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Like, we finally got all the ants from that nest chamber all sorted. Now, if we could take on the tiger beetles, that would be great. Murder them and go through to the promised land. Oh, promised land seems to be despawning. Makes me mix sad. That tiger beetle's absolutely chewing through everything. I just like watching your streams because nobody streams this game. Yeah, I, I kind of noticed that too. Like, hang on. Like, what if I loaded up Twitch? What if I loaded up Twitch and just, like, you know, searched Empires of the Undergrowth? Let's see, how many people are on there? This man is a grinder. He'll uh, there's a few. About, you know, nine or ten people streaming this. Although some people really do not know how to title something. Like, this one guy streams, like, ants, like, 20 times. Just no spaces. It's a pretty bad title, not gonna lie. Uh, I want the food, but I know that's a bad idea to go charging into. Oh, let's go over there. But yeah, I appreciate you saying that you you know you like watching my streams. Try my best to be as entertaining as possible. Unfortunately, I am just a professional idiot. What makes me a professional idiot? Well, I'm an idiot, and I might as well be an expert on it. Trust me, you you have not seen the question, some of the questionable mistakes I have made. Some of them are uh, pretty bad. Like, if you ever think I make like a mistake in this game, that's just like. Why'd you do that? You knew it was going to be a bad, a bad idea. Don't worry. It only gets worse from there. It only goes downhill. Like, I can't tell you how many mistakes that I'm like, wow, still such an idiot. I might miss some streams because I got school. Don't even worry about it. School is way more important than streams. Uh, listen to me and don't do as I do, which is I uh, completely forget about doing homework just because it's like, ah, just one, one more one more game. The ants must defend themselves. Because that's not exactly what you want to do. That's not good for success. But yet again, I do everything unoptimally, so I guess you do you. That's what you want to do. Not your mother. Uh, let's upgrade. Anyways, a bit more. On the side of the nest, we got it under control. Yes, we do. Finish moving all the food. Dun, 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 dun. There, geez. There. Too good, good to. That's too good to ignore. That's also pretty decent food to not ignore. There. Hold back as much as you can. Every last drop. Yeah. There's 100 food. Nice. Alright, let's finish upgrading the melees. Okay, imagine the best duo in the games. My opinion for the best, like, best colony matchups, like, duo matchup would be Fire Ants and Leaf Cutters. Fire Ants for the early game, aggressive to put pressure on the opponents and also to defend. And then the Leaf Cutters for like late game, just absolutely shredding everything. It's like, you know, they're hard to force back late game. They are definitely a late game kind of colony that just suck in the early game. Whereas Fire Ants to me will be like, they'll just dominate in the early game, but come late game, they'll lose a bit of their potency. Oh, spider. Uh, wolf spider, you had a good run, but you died. Oh, God, there's tiger beetles in my nest. 
should be able to handle it. We have the food yet. How long will it take? Army Ant, Major, and Fire Ant. Oh, imagine if there was like... Oh, I think the devs should do this. Choose your own um, Eruptor colony. Like, you can customize your Eruptor, but like... But like to balance it out, you're only allowed a certain amount of picks. Maybe not like three to like give you a reason to choose the uh, Formicarium colony and the counterpart colony, but like you can only choose two ants. I mean, yeah, there's like a large amount of them late game, but like they, I don't know if they just have the, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That was just my impressions. I definitely know they have the early game, you know, strong just because of how cheap they are and how much damage they do. It's absurd. But we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see how good they actually are once they drop. Will they drop the beat or will they get dropped on their face with egg on it? Hard to say. But yeah, no, I think it would be cool. Like, you know, you'd be like, okay, I can only choose two ants out of every ant in the game. So it's like, okay, I want, say, Fire ants and Matabele ants. Ooh. That would be an interesting combo, I think. Fire ants and Matabele. Fire ants and shooters. Oh. <laughs> um. Fire ants and so wait, do army ant majors give it to other creatures that like aren't? Oh, let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. Things are happening. Get back to the queen, please. Small emergency. Wow, we are low on food. Oh geez. Uh, feel the things attacking the queen, please. Before the queen dies, preferably... Okay, there we go. One last thing we have to worry about. The queen is in imminent. Death. Yes, I realize that. Alright, I think we might have to like stay underground because it seems like the surface is becoming a little too hostile for us. The difficult... Yeah, 200%. Okay. Yeah, it might be that time. Might be that time of the game. Just kind of like chill. I'll upgrade those level two, and then I'll chill. Oh, how'd you get in here? Things gigantic. Whatever, we'll handle it all the same. Get in that nest. Okay, or get in that nest. Just kill that thing, please. Oh, there you go. Now you're surrounded. We come on out with your hands up. We got you surrounded. Then move up to the end. Way. Started. Okay, or not. There will be another spider. Sure. But one spider's handled. Take care of the other one. Got him. Oh, uh, come on. Another one, please. Don't have him by my queen. I'm just going to have every ant gathered by my queen. It seems like I can't afford to, like, guard the entrance with how much they're just, like, you know, running past me. Are there going to be more spiders invade? Yep. 100%. Knew it. The queen is in imminent Die. Danger. Oh, you healed, you bitch. Get on out of my colony! And head, head up there, because we, we've secured the entrance, apparently. Dun, 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 dun. We also need to get some more food to our stores, because we're a little low. At least the spider's dead. I'm going to get rid of that giant hermit crab. Late game fire ants will need numbers. Yes, they will. Like, I just don't know if, like, 
if there will ever be a reason to upgrade fire ants ever. The ants must protect the queen. Okay then. A bunch of spiralings just ran in. We can handle those. No problem. There. Do what I tell you. We need the extra food. There we go. Nest is secure. Ish. Not really, but it's getting there. It's it's something. Like my question is, will there ever be a reason to Queen upgrade your fire ants? Like danger. will it ever be worth it? Or should you just like build more? Because like the whole demo confirmed for me the bridges, like just like I need the numbers. If if I'm going to use the fire ants to their full potential, I just need straight up numbers. I cannot like wait for around for an upgrade. Won't be worth the money, and I won't be able to build the bridges that I need to. All right, let's see out that spider, please. What else is challenging our nest? Oh, enemy ants. Okay, sure. Sure, enemy, you can die now. Funny enough, our target is way easier than the environment. The environment is just supposed to be like a little roadblock, a little sideshow. But here it's the main event. The queen is in imminent danger. I'm sorry, you are? You are a little bit. Okay, let's take care of that, please. I mean, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Yeah, it's not. Another spider down. Yeah, I will definitely say of the ones that kind of ignore your you know, your cluster near the entrance. Well, there's only two. There's wolf spiders and then there's harvestmen. Wolf spiders are definitely the worst one to have. I'd probably say the beach levels are just tougher than the jungle levels or the rainforest levels because of the spiders. Okay, yep. Keep attacking me, green. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to you. Dude. <sighs> I think we're just going to be here forever because we can't go on the offensive because of how many spiders just keep attacking us. I have to like have a royal guard, just like a group of ants to stay on the queen. The queen oh jeez. Please protect the queen. I just have like a royal guard, you know, one thing of one nest of Melees, another nest of um, spitters, and just keep them at the queen's side. Better yet, just like keep them in the nursery group. Maybe, but I don't think that's necessary yet. Oh, that's cute. You think you can still attack me? Oh. Calm down. Oh. No. Something's wrong. Something don't smell right. Oh wait, that's just me. Uh, um. Upgrade these. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Let's upgrade that chamber to level three, and then I think just a whole lot of storing up. Late game fire ants will need numbers. I think I already read that. Yeah, I think you'll need to upgrade for Titan climbing. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. We'll kind of have to wait and see about that. <sighs> Sorry, did that hermit just crawl out of their nest? You better be going in. Oh. Alrighty then. The hermit crab is like, yeah, no, nah, dog, I'm going to dip. The larva is just like, I'm going in. Who are? Ugh. Well, I think I'm going to be here for like at least another hour, but I'm tired. I got homework to do. Stuff like that. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm trying to make sure I'm ready for class tomorrow at 9. But yeah, I'll be editing, um, what's it called? Hungry, sp oh, 
Well, the queens is dead. All right, I, I, all right, I'll stay a little longer. I was like, no progress is being made, so you know, I might want to end the stream, but no, nah, I'll stay a little longer. Maybe we'll win. I'm so glad they're doing a rework of replay because this is again ridiculous. That like, you know, when I go into their nest, it's just like I can't kill them. I can't come close to killing them just because the like, in imminent danger. you know, they're they keep on hatching and cheating and, and like clustering up at the doorway, but like. You know, then I, you know, the environment, you crank up the environment and it's suddenly easier. I find it funny that, like, if you crank the environment to insane, it's actually easier than on medium. You got Cyrus in 40 minutes? Ah. Well. I'm sorry. You got soccer at night? What is wrong with you? Oh. Do you live on the eastern? Or not the eastern, the western part of Canada. It'd still be kinda early in the night. Right, like right here, it's nine o'clock at night, so just like that's pretty late for soccer. Like ten. Well, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, it was about free play. Oh yeah, they're reworking the free play AI and stuff like that. So glad they are, cause it's not cool. MHM. Or I have... Oh, okay. Okay. Why, why am I bringing you to the front? Get back there. Get back there, please. Hurry. Oh, that's a lot of giant spiders. It's 608. Ah. Yeah, I can see. You. That sounds like a little bit more of a reasonable time than 9 o'clock at night. Or like 10 o'clock at night. Going to play soccer. So it's like, all right. I know some people like, you know, their sports, but... That's a little too much, don't you think? All right, the spider mess has been dealt with. Please kill Blue, they better douche to me. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stay, I'm going to have my creatures just stay right around my queen, because apparently spiders are the only thing that invade me. Everything else, like all the hermit crabs and devil's coat course, they do sometimes, but not as much of a threat. Uh, but yeah, free play rework, glad it's happening, because, again, the difficulty is a little weird. It's just hard to get a good enough challenge for, like, if I crank the difficulty too high, it's just going to kill the enemy before me. Whereas if I crank it too low, it's just going to be nonstop against me. I have soccer three days a week. Ah. Yeah, I remember football was pretty much the entire week. Monday through Thursday was practice. Friday was game day, Saturday was like lift, and then, or no, I think Saturday was our day off, and then Sunday was like the lift and film. To the death. Yeah, football, I forget, I forgot how much of a uh, commitment football was. All right, I guess I'll push to the front just because they're being a nuisance. Get out of here, tiger beetles. Actually, just general beetles. Oh yeah, they seem a little tougher. They must have upgraded the health. I think it's that point in the game where they upgrade the health and damage. Dun, 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 dun. Blue can't be in that good of a position. Like, I find it hard to believe that they're in a good position Considering yellow. So, uh, speaking of green being not in a good position, they're dead. Um, uh, blue's actually not doing too bad. I want to attack them and finish them off, but I keep on getting attacked myself. Can't afford to go that far from my nest. Bad, but I like I have to stay here. I literally can't. Go. I can't expand my army because I just don't have the food to like do it. A thousand food, but I keep it for reinforcements. You know, those the large group of those spiders attack, you know, they'll just burn through your food so fast. All of a sudden the tiger beetles just want to play. Apparently they really want to play. Sure. Why not? Get out of here. 
Dirt Harveston. Another Beatles come to sacrifice themselves. Sweet. Any more? Any more want to challenge me? Are you not entertained? Uh, I guess I guess they aren't. They keep on wanting to challenge me. Better question. Are you entertained, eh? If you are, then you might want to consider, you know, hitting that like button and subbing for more, cause I will certainly be producing more Empires of the Undergrowth content. The battle. Like the current plan is when the Fire Ant update drops, I am going to do a whole lot of content for the week it comes out. Like without seeing anything, like seeing what I can, you know, feasibly do. My plan is like two bits of content a day, so We'll see though, because of classes and stuff like that. So maybe more, maybe a bit, it may be that amount, it may be less. We'll see. But my plan is definitely to get more content out the door when the Fire Ant update hits. Toughest bit will be getting it on insane with the challenge on. Whew. That'll be a tough one. We do have a little food to spare, so I'm going to upgrade my workers, turn them into decent fighters. There. Because if they're going to be in my born group, then they better be decent fighters. Or as decent as they can be. Because they 100% will be fighting. Alright, there. Chamber's fully upgraded. Let's start saving again. Uh, should I plan out another chamber? How do you game subs? Because I only need 20 more, four more, then I'll have 50. Okay, so my subs, I kind of got lucky. When shorts were just kind of like doing that, I was like, all right. Someone told me to make shorts. I was like, all right, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make, a sh I'll make some shorts. Like a bunch of old clips on my Xbox, you know, just change the dimensions on them to make that in that size. One of my shorts got 720 views. This was like my third short I posted. I'm like, Oh, all right then. A few shorts later, I posted a clip of me playing Modern Warfare on shipment, and it apparently got on the shorts shelf because it absolutely blew up to 116,000 views. I literally got the bulk of my subs from that one video. Like I got 466 subs from that one video over the course of six hours. And that was it. Like, the reason I'm telling you this is not, not to brag, but, like, don't do that. Like, honestly, that kind of hurt my channel. Like, if, it's like, those, those viewers are not watching any of my stuff. Like, they don't want to watch Empires of the Undergrowth. They want to watch Call of Duty. Like, the whole idea is just stay, stay with one game. Stay, stay within your niche and just focus on making those people happy. Like, you want to watch Empires of the Undergrowth. That's what I'm doing. I, because you, you y'all, y'all subscribe for my Empire stuff, I'm not going to do Call of Duty anymore. I'm just going to do Empires of the Undergrowth, because that's what you want. Where are my ants? Why are so many beetles attacking me? Can the other queen die, please? But yeah. So, that's kind of like my secret to success. I'm just... You gotta deliver a product that people want to watch, and it's it took a lot of it took a whole year of just like learning and struggling. And dear God, how many beetles are going to invade? I I don't think I can win. I I can't win. How is the other queen still alive? The clutch of death, the dark abyss. The colony's deeds laid bare. There is no escape. Alrighty then. That happened. Oh, I guess it's a good place to stop. I, I still need to do homework tonight. 
I hope you did enjoy. You know, if you did, consider liking, consider subbing, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. As always, more undergrowth. Um, tomorrow I don't plan on streaming, but if I don't stream, it'll be Hungry Spider. If I do stream, well, it'll be a stream. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.